we're gonna record something that's from inside the car so all right okay so first thing first this is 2016 BMW X5 X Drive 35i. Um, I'm pretty sure that you've seen this, well, reviews of this car from all over the place, so I'm not going to go into really details as far as, you know, engine specs and whatnot. But what I will say is um, this car is pretty much the same, has same engine, same transmission, uh, similar drivetrain from, well, well, between this and the E70 X5, which is uh, what I have. Um, I have a 2011 X5, um, this is 2016, so it's uh, newly updated, I call it the updated version, uh, BMW is brand, it's almost brand new, but interior wise, everything's the same, um, you can see the speakers, screens, controls, you know, shifters, uh, they change locations of the uh, selections, driver selections, um, on the E70 is on the bottom here, uh, parking, um, hill auto hill lock, um, you know, I drive controls are pretty much the same. Um, doors are pretty much the same. Vans are in the same locations. You can see the speakers are, you know, pretty much the same as the old uh, E70. Um, you know, they they've updated the interior. It's a lot cleaner look, um, and uh, you know, the the screen obviously is gorgeous. You know, it's big and clear. Um, this thing has a has the optional uh, has that display. Um, everything else is I think is pretty standard um, there's a couple things that I like about this car um, the the door I don't know if you can see this uh, the, 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 the door edge or the windows the edge of the window um, it's similar to the uh, the old x5 um, except the materials where your arm or your elbows um, stays is actually you know it's actually soft touch material um, but uh, everything else is pretty much the same so we're going to go test drive. I think I have uh, some of these things in um, uh, reviews or, you know, my opinions about this car in a different video. So I'm going to upload all of them and, uh, you know, there's different views. And this one is actually mounting from the back window on the passenger side and uh, it looks out the interior. I just had another video taken by one of the action cameras that I've, I've purchased um, on the exterior on the way here. So uh, we're just going to drive around and... Um, and, and this way, you know, it, it, I'm in sports mode, um, and it, you know, you can kind of see the difference between, you know, the sports mode and the, you know, comfort mode and whatnot, and you know, the, 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 the sounds. Are ho hopefully, you know, I can pick up the sound and, and uh, from the camera. So, so here it is. This is in sport mode, sport shifting. Actually, sport shifting. <laughs> um, can't really go too fast in this parking lot, but uh, once we get out of here, we should be able to open the throttle quite a bit. Um, and um, you know, I'm just gonna leave the uh, sports display on, which shows the torque and horsepower. One thing I did notice from this car is um, even in sports mode, the exhaust note is not nearly as as loud as my e70 um, and driving in sport mode coming here the uh, uh, engine well the the, the, rev, the revs tend to stay high um, so it's, you know that's pretty similar to what e70 does when it's when you put in sports mode um, you know, like I said, the transmission and the engines are pretty much the same as E70, 35i, they're both, uh, you know, 3 liter turbo, twin squirrel, single turbo charged. Um, you know, the, 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 the difference, of the, I think, even in sports mode, um, in the new, e, uh, new X5, um, I think it doesn't have quite the same, same feel to it when you accelerate. Um, it doesn't have that kick. Um, I mean, it accelerates pretty hard, but um, for some reason, it doesn't feel like it. It's got the same same type of same amount of push or same amount of thrust that you you get from the E70. Um, even though you know, 
most of the specs are pretty much the same and, and this car is actually supposedly a couple hundred pounds lighter than the E70 um, and uh, a little bit lower um, so overall you know in theory at least on paper it is supposed to be a little bit faster car um, but it just it doesn't feel that fast um, and, uh, I can't really go fast because there's a policeman so So that's one of the things that I kind of noticed that you know it doesn't quite have the same kick when you floor when you floor it, um, it, it it pushes along just you know just fine but um, you know it, it doesn't quite feel like somebody is you know pushing it really hard you know it, it's a it's a gradual gra it, it's a gradual constant push so you know it's 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 there it's always there but um, it doesn't doesn't give you doesn't have that you know nice surprise, you know, so to speak. Um, you know, the, the car seems to be quieter um, because I think it's got better insulations and sound depth materials in here. Um, the car feels a lot more solid, I think, um, and uh, partially, you know, well, partially I think is because my E70 is currently on snow tires, and so they're a little. They're, they're a little, a little more noisy than, than, than you know, standard um, all season. Um, and I think uh, I don't know for sure, but uh, these may not actually be run flat uh, because they seem to be softer. I was driving over, uh, well, driving onto my driveway, and, and I have uh, the sort of the curb there. I didn't have that shave, so when you drive up there, it feels like the tires are a lot, lot softer than you know the run flats that I've, I've had on my E70 um, so it, you know that kind of contributed to softer ride and more comfortable ride and again we're in sports mode so I'm gonna actually go turn into uh, standard comfort mode um, which will quiet it even more at least from the engine and exhaust again emphasize on the exhaust note it's very quiet even in sports mode I, I could hardly hear um, I hear a lot of engine the noise um, but not as much as exhaust um, I will shoot another video um, from my e70 when I get my car back um, but uh, those are the things that I noticed and, and even with normal driving um, my car seems to be louder at least from from the exhaust so, uh, otherwise it's, it's, it's a comfortable car um, in Comfort suspension, it's uh, it's nice, you know. It's, it's this is not a sports-oriented vehicle. Um, and uh, one thing I noticed is uh, when when you have the headlight display turned on, um, you know, a lot of the information are um, showing from the headlight display versus uh, versus the you know the the, the front dashboard. Um, and I've had um, X3 or 3 Series uh, that does not have heads up display, and most of the things are displayed between the two dials. Um, so earlier I was looking for it, and, and I forgot that everything shows up through the heads up display and doesn't actually have that. And I thought the the dial button was broken. <laughs> um, so, anyways, uh, you know, it's it's very standard BMW. Um, you know, you have the standard uh, screens. And drives like a BMW. It's, it's more on the sporty side, even though this X5 is you know, definitely focused, more focused on comfort um, and luxury, I guess, uh, versus performance. Um, you get some performance, but it's not quite on the same level as, let's say, M3 or, or even, you know, the X3 35i or 3 35i. Um, so, at 50 miles an hour, um, everything's pretty smooth, the seats are pretty comfortable, um, and like I said, you know, the seats are new uh, from 2016, and so it doesn't have had a lot of uh, pressure on it yet, so you know, the, the foam 
yeah, it hasn't been compressed nearly as much as mine. So mine actually feels a little bit hard. Um, but the back is pretty much the same. I do like the stitchings on the new seat. Um, they, they're pretty cool looking. Otherwise, you know, I, I consider this car is, you know, pretty much an upgrade or update from from mine interior and exterior wise. And um, quite frankly, I think the E70 um, in certain aspects is actually better looking than, the, uh, the, than this one. Um, but there are a lot of people that you know, likes this one better than the older. Um, you know, if I have one, you know, I, I think the look, newer look is grown on me. Um, I'm starting to like them a little bit more than, than what, when I first initial saw them, but I, I, I still prefer the look from, you know, the, the E70. Um, it just, it just, it just seems more muscular to me, and it's simpler. Um, there's less, less unnecessary curves or whatever, um, on the E70, it's mostly all straight line, and, and, and if you look at follow the lines, a lot of them actually they go around and they connect each other, and they, they, it just flows much better. Um, this is more modern, obviously. Um, interior of the car, um, I noticed the difference between this and mine is that because the roof line, especially towards the back, are a lot lower, they're a lot, uh, a lot more you know, sporty look. So um, it, it feels there's less headroom here. Um, especially in the back, uh, the, the pillars are a lot thicker and a lot lower, um, so it seems like the corner glasses are a little bit smaller. Um, I don't know for sure, but it feels like the windows are a little bit smaller as well. I have to get some measurements um, from mine when I get my back, um, but it feels like the window, the glass, the, you know, the, the, the window portion is a little bit shorter than the E70. Um, but overall, it's not that bad. Um, when I first saw this car, I actually thought that was an X3. Um, you know, that's that's kind of saying two things. One is that the X5 is getting a little bit smaller. Um, well, not actually smaller, but in, it's actually lower to the ground. It's got a little bit less ground clearance. Um, and also saying that the X3 has gotten a lot bigger. Um, there's only like a couple, a few inches um, in length and size. Um, so.